What up guys, Paradox back with more tech support. So today we're here today to cover harmonic balancers on your 1994 to 2007 SX V6 covering the 3.8, 3.9, 4.2 V6s, uh, including your Mustang swap. So the reason why this is ideal is, is um, you're going to be swapping to the Freestar balancer or a Windstar balancer in your fee swap to get your turbo stuff in here. So you got to know how to do this. Uh, the big deal is, is that in your Mustang, in between 1994 and 2004, they had three different designs of balancer. The first being a two-piece design, the second being a one-piece uh, one balance design, and then, of course, the 2001 Plus being the neutrally weighted or just easy exchange. Like, you can just swap these guys out. Um, so when you're swapping this, your 2001, it's going to be the easiest because uh, it's just a direct swap. You just do the procedure and you swap on the Freestar balancer and it's all done um so when you have the earlier 1994 to 2001 balancers you're either going to have a two-piece design or a one-piece design so the 1994 to the 1998 i believe is the two-piece and then you're going to have the 1999 to 2001 be the one piece with the actual holes drilled into the one piece design to make the balance for the internal rotating assembly be externally balanced so when you're removing these guys on your two-piece design, there's going to be a way to remove this front pulley from this uh, crank weight in the back. And that is going to be how you exchange for your Windstar. So for your 1994 to 1998, all you're going to need is this front piece from a Windstar. Uh, and I believe that's going to be the... Uh, 94 to 95 Windstar minimum. I haven't seen it on the 96 to 98 yet, but I haven't been to another one to look at it, but they're probably on those two. And then uh, the 1999 to 2001s, I believe are the one piece. The cool thing is, is that you should be able to directly swap your year. So if you're a 2001 3.8 Mustang, you should be able to swap on a 2001 3.8 Windstar uh, external balance harmonic balancer without an issue. I've talked to definitely one guy for sure now who said they ran one without any problems. So that's how you're going to swap your balancers, uh, especially if you have the two-piece design. It's going to be really easy to keep your internal balance. Uh, with the one-piece, it's really not making much of a change in difference. It's of grams on this side. So um, you can swap out your balancer the same way as if it was broken um, and you just had to swap on a new one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is remove one of these for you guys and show you what we're doing. So I've actually already went ahead and released the belt um, from the system. What you do next is you're going to need to uh, remove this with the 21 millimeter socket, which I have pre-taken off halfway. So when you do this, you're usually going to have to take a crowbar or a breaker bar and I shank that hole right there and I'll make sure that when I'm turning this it locks the crankshaft so that you're not trying to rotate anything crazy and this is what's going to get the bolt so a lot of people will just spin engine on compression and they won't be able to get it and they need to lock this up in order to get this bolt and yes it is just a regular uh, left loosening bolt it's not uh, reverse threaded so once you locked it up and you get her going you get her out. You're going to need what's called a bolt type pulley remover set from Harbor Freight or however you're going to get it, but a bolt type pulley remover. And this is going to look like this. So you're going to have an item 62620 from Pittsburgh Automotive bolt type pulley wheel puller. So what this is, is it's a crow's foot looking design that you're going to need to match up to those three holes like that and what we're going to do is you're going to open the box and the ones that are on my set are these top three these ones one two three so I grab them out I take a nine millimeter and I stick it in this back like this. So that when I'm running it, I don't have to run the whole length of the thing. I can kind of just make it quick and I'll just stick that into the assembly and line it up.
I usually only put these in a turn or two at first and kind of get the whole setup even. Kind of like at that. And then get them finger tight down to where your tents. I like this over having to put the barrel of the tool down onto the crank over and over again. It's kind of a pain in the ass without having the 9 mil there. Get it locked up real nice and level like that. She's all locked up. So then what I'll be using now, I believe, is a uh, 14 millimeter. And we are going to drive it clockwise. Making this pulley come out. So what this is going to do is basically just pull the whole pulley out. And at that point, you just pull your pulley off. And you'd swap out your harmonic balancer. So at that point, uh, you're going to see that you just have a, uh, uh, a key in there to line up your next harmonic balancer. You're going to put it back on. Take this out. All done with the bolt type pulley remover. And then this usually becomes the pain in the ass is trying to get this, especially on an engine stand, on there. Pretty good. I'll usually just give her the left and right for a while. Give her the smack. Check it and see if I can drive it with the bolt. Which at this point I can. Anybody else's? So I have my uh, crankshaft locked at my uh, flywheel on the engine stand. So I won't have to do this. But somebody else is going to have to. Um, stick in the lock to lock up the balancer as you get this tight and I believe it's going to be about 80 pounds when you put it down so I don't have to lock mine up you guys will and just drive it I want to give you guys any false information and tell you the exact torque spec, so you're going to have to look that up online. But that is how you are going to change the bolt type. Harmonic balancer damper. So once you have that swapped in and out, you're going to be on still a 3.8, 3.9, or a 3.8 balance, because the 3.9 and the 4.2s are externally balanced, like this um, balancer is here. So we're able to swap easy in and out on this. That's everything I can get you guys about the balancers, how to remove one, and what you exactly need to do that for the fee swap. This has been the Paradox. Thanks for tuning in.